One of the myths about Israel today is that it's isolated from the rest of the world. However, in recent years, Israel has reached out to major countries like China and India and forged new relationships with many African nations. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is one of the prime movers behind these new diplomatic ventures. And many of these nations look to Israel for its technology and advances in security. Israeli high-tech Iran and Hezbollah topped the agenda of Netanyahu's latest trip and historic visit to Latin America. CBN Middle East correspondent Julie Stahl has that story. It's the first time an Israeli prime minister visited a Western Hemisphere country south of the United States. From Argentina to Colombia to Mexico, they rolled out the red carpet. And we are beginning here the dawn of a new era. And not accidentally, we begin it here in Argentina. The last time an El Al aircraft landed in Buenos Aires happened in 1960, when Israel kidnapped Nazi war criminal Adolf Eichmann and whisked him away for trial. The Prime Minister's visit is, uh, is, is laden with symbolism. Netanyahu started his trip at memorials marking Iranian and Hezbollah-backed terror attacks, one targeting the Israeli embassy in 1992 and two years later at the Jewish community building. More than 100 people were killed in those attacks. Iran's terror has not stopped since then. They have a terror machine that encompasses the entire world with their sidekick Hezbollah. In the case of Iran, it is not merely terror, it's also the quest for nuclear weapons that concerns us and should concern the entire um, international community. Expert Emmanuel Ottolenghi said Iran would figure in all of Netanyahu's conversations. Iran remains Israel's most strategic uh, uh, threat, but also because uh, in Latin America increasingly Hezbollah uh, cooperates with organized crime in a narco-terrorism convergence to raise funds uh, for its, for its uh, growing budget. According to Otto Lenghi, the visit also indicates Netanyahu's strategy to expand relationships is working. Israel is, is gaining new friends uh, um, outside of the Western world, uh, countries that are no longer automatically voting against Israel at the UN. That uh, includes uh, new friends in Latin America, so it's an important trip. Today, the future belongs to those who innovate. Israel is an innovation nation. Some say it's the innovation nation. And that showed in agreements with Colombia and Argentina to share scientific research and expertise in fields like agriculture, water, cybersecurity, and health. We can make our air cleaner, our water safer to drink. Uh, we can produce more uh, milk per cow. That's actually what Israel does better than any other country in the world. We can. Uh, uh, harvest crops in ways that are unimaginable. Netanyahu promised it would be much sooner than 70 years for the next visit of an Israeli prime minister to this part of the world. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.